I'm Lorenzo Medell and I'm a pianist. How did you start playing music? I started around nine and a half. That was just fooling around and when I was 10, I formally started seriously um, at UP College of Music under the professor of Foundation Someone gave me an album of his, his name is Maxim Urbiza and I always listen to it. The idea was he was playing classical pieces but with a rock and pop effect. I was around nine and I watched his concert and after that I was so inspired that I thought I want to do this thing. Like classical music. Um, it's a difficult question, but personally, I think that when you're able to play classical music, you can play other genres. I believe, and that's what I hear from other people, that when you learn the foundation, yeah. you can go to other genres also. Very easily. How do I choose pieces I want? I play what's closest to my heart, what I think is good, not just for musicians, but also for general audience who are not into music. Because it's a very difficult balance. Sometimes when you choose um, hard pieces or very deep pieces, only musicians will yeah, appreciate, it. appreciate it. But how about people who are not musicians? So I'm trying to mix the balance between ordinary audience and musicians. What's the hardest piece you play? I think everything is difficult because the most difficult thing about music for me is how do you communicate to the audience your feelings, emotions, or the stories that you want to say without saying a word? Because I, for me, music is a language, music language that you don't speak at all. You just have to communicate through your playing. So that's the most difficult thing for me, for each piece. Um, the technician or tuner, I don't know how to call it exactly, Daniel Mabi. Um, my mom was able to contact him to check our piano. Okay. I think that's the very first time that we were able to get in touch with Larry. Started with Daniel Mappy, if I remember correctly. Yes, I'm very blessed and inspired to play in concerts because it's very difficult to find a good piano and a good piano is really a big factor in communicating your music to your audience. There was a time at school in the US when I was practicing. I was so tired. I think that was around 10 p.m. I was still practicing at mm -hmm. school and all of a sudden I was shocked that I was already sleeping on the keys and I just woke up that my head was on the keys, the keys yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad that no one saw on the door <laughs> and kicked me out. I wouldn't say it's the most important but it's definitely very important for me because like I said for me music is um, a language that doesn't need words and that's the challenge how do you communicate to the audience, your feelings, your emotions, what you're trying to tell. And for me, music can change lives. Like, personally, I have stories like, there are some people who came to my concert, they feel so tired, sad, but after hearing, they thank me because they think that I made them happy. Some people even cry and thanking me for making them relax, even just for an hour or two. So I think music can really affect people's emotions and I think it's very important because music for me can really change people. Whatever is your profession, just always do your best, never compare yourself to others because there will always be someone better than you. Yes. If you always compare yourself, then you will live a miserable life. Just do your best, stay humble, 